All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and this is your weekly Xur loot and location PSA. He's in the tower hangar, and he's got a bugged Stars and Shadow that is rolling with a variety of different perks. I don't even know what's going on here. It's, look, it's like a, looking like a slot machine with how these perks are. Like, you just saw right there, I didn't change anything. All these different perks are dropping here. Surplus, Pulse Monitor, Grave Robber, Ellie Cap, Disruption Break. So if you want to grab a roll of it, go do so. Every roll is, it just changed. It had Grave Robber. It had two Grave Robbers for a second there. I don't even know what's going on here. So that's super bugged. Make sure to go grab a Stars and Shadow roll if you want to have a crazy bugged roll with triple perks. It can have up to six perks there, apparently. Um, along with that, we do have the Tarantula, which is a god roll, a f like a perfect god roll, exactly what you want for this Tarantula Linear Fusion. The only issue is that we did just recently get the Linear Fusion from the dungeon that outclasses this quite a bit, so keep that in mind. Um, the three round burst linear fusion is just significantly better than the tarantula but it's still good and this is a god roll i would recommend grabbing this because a god roll is a god roll now let's move on to the rest of the inventory we've got the merciless which is a, a pretty good exotic in the current sandbox uh for special you know it doesn't if as long as you get non-lethal shots it's rate of fire increases so it could be worth grabbing if you don't have already we got a gwizen vest with really high resilience uh you're not using spectral blades in pve so probably don't need that really high resilience Unless you're going for some sort of unflinching build and rock and spectral in pvp but uh, i would say overall it's a pretty average roll of that one we got the side tans which are a really good exotic for titans makes your titan wall see through um so you can or shoot through so you can shoot through it but the enemies can't 59 stat roll is a little on the low side and the nine mobility is a little bit of a waste um i have another world is a really good exotic for warlocks this roll unfortunately not the best though with that 21 mobility and pretty mid recovery We've got the Gnawing Hunger with Zen Moment Rampage. It's a pretty average roll. We've got the Seventh Seraph with Fourth Times Charm and Vorpal. Another average roll. We've got the Eternal Blazon with One For All. One For All is really good for ad clear on this. That's definitely worth grabbing. Not a god roll though, but not too bad. And then we've got the Toil and Trouble. This is uh, not a good shotgun, in my opinion, for PvP or PvE. I would recommend staying clear of that. And that roll is, uh, is pretty bad too. And we've got the Far Future with auto-loading multi-kill clip. That roll is pretty bad. Again, the God Roll Tarantula, make sure to grab that. The crazy bug Stars and Shadow that the perks change like wild, so grab a roll of that if you want. Uh, Gauntlet's 55 is a little too low. Chest 64, that's a good, really good roll. Definitely worth grabbing. Uh, the low recovery can hurt a little bit, but uh, the distribution between mobility, resilience, and recovery um, is always like they're, they're combined together, so you have to choose whether or not you want low mobility or low recovery. But high resilience is always really good right now in PvE, so that's actually a really good chest piece. Definitely worth grabbing. Like, I'm gonna grab that bad boy. Uh, this helmet's 59 stat roll, a little too low in my opinion. And a 63, that's not bad actually. Those boots are pretty good. Let's go ahead and pull up the armor for the Titan. We've got Gauntlets with uh, 12 mobility, a little bit of waste there, low resilience. So, and then we've got a chest with 16 resilience, that's pretty good. 64 stat overall, not bad chest piece. A helmet with 18 resilience really low recovery 59 that's going to be a pass on that helmet and then a 60 stat for the boots with 17 resilience 7 mobility that's a pretty average roll there the warlock we've got gauntlets at 58 we'll pass on that and you're usually just looking for stuff in like the mid 60s 59 we'll pass on that 55 hard pass and 63 so 63 is a pretty good stat number but the a bunch of mobility is not necessary for that warlock or for any warlock build currently so we'll pass on that and then we'll move on to the last bit here got the hawk moon with moving target not a half bad perk but uh definitely not the best in my opinion range finder is the one i'd go for and then dead man's tail with force times the charm definitely not necessary we're looking for vorpal on that bad boy so that's a wrap on your zur psa get out there grab that bug stars and shadow and that god roll tarantula make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed smash the like button see you in the next one later